Strengthening Faith 124 I had a thought which I wanted to share. The Holy Quran describes two types of signs which point out the truthfulness of Islam. One type of signs are the verses of the Holy Quran and the other types of signs are found within the creation. Every person is urged to reflect on both of these types of signs in order to deduce for themselves the truthful nature of Islam. For example, when one reflects on the multiple perfect systems within the universe, such as the perfect distance the earth is from the sun, the perfect density of the oceans, which allow ships to sail on them and sea life to thrive within them, the water cycle, and many more, they will deduce the oneness of Allah, the Exalted. All of these signs, when recognized, strengthen one's faith in the different aspects of Islam, such as the oneness of Allah, the Exalted, the Resurrection, etc. Often, these signs within the universe are collaborated by science, which further strengthens one's belief in them. Even though Islam does not need to be proven through science, nonetheless, one can appreciate when this occurs. For example, scientists have proven that when a star reaches the end of its life, it expands and becomes red. Interestingly, on Judgment Day, which is the end of the universe, the color of the sky will appear reddish, which would occur if the sun became red in color. Chapter 55 Ar Rahman, verse 37 When the sky is torn apart and turns crimson like red hide. In addition, on Judgment Day, the sun will be brought within two miles of the creation. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 2864. This movement of the sun can occur when it expands in size, during the end of its life. Scientists have also deduced that the universe is constantly expanding. One can imagine that when an object continues to be stretched and eventually reaches its breaking point, the object will be torn apart and whatever is within it will be scattered in different directions. This is how the end of the universe has been described in the Holy Quran. Chapter 82 al infatah verses 1-2 when the sky will be cleft asunder, and when the stars have fallen and scattered. It is amazing how science has agreed on the teachings of Islam, which was revealed over 1,400 years ago. A Muslim must pay attention to both types of signs so that they strengthen their faith. This will ensure they remain firm on the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted, which involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This leads to peace of mind and body in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. Ignoring these signs only leads to weak faith and misusing the blessings one has been granted. Chapter 12 Yusuf, verse 105 How many a sign there are in the heavens and the earth which they pass by, and they are heedless to them. This leads to difficulties in both worlds. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 124 And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed i.e. difficult life, and we will gather i.e. raise him on the day of resurrection blind. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com